Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's Lance Kelly from LanceKelly.com. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I actually do a Photoshop black and white image. Uh, I guess you would call it a dual color black and white, but it's got full detail and the most detail you could ever get in a black and white. And I use it on the same process as doing my mugs for mugs and shots. And I also do it for a lot of uh, vector output. So let's get started. I go to file. I open up the file. I'm going to just go ahead and open up this car to start with. And I immediately, I, I jump my layers down. I just duplicate them up. And I start with one. I go to Im image adjustments, then threshold. I get the standard play of the car of where it is. The car looks good. And I adjust this to look at the car. I see the car comes in with a lot of detail, but I want to keep the wheels. So, stay in the standard. The car is right there in the middle. We'll just hit OK. I turn that one off. I turn the next one on, which is the next color down. I go to that one. And the first one, I name. I'll name the first one, Car. And the next one down, I'll name background. Then the next one, it's background, not background. That's all right, but background, this next one down, I'll name as foreground. Now I'm going to take the background and make that look fine. Right about there is good. I can see the detail in the garage and the stuff on the side. I'll hit OK. It's a little bit up from where we were. If it's not much different from the first one, then you don't really need to change it. But I'll hit it as good anyway, so I don't have to go and backtrack. I like the tree detail right here, too. Now I'll shut that one off. Now I'll work on my foreground. I'm going to pick it, make sure it's selected. Otherwise, it won't work. Go back down to the threshold and work on your foreground. Foreground's cool. Some nice rim color in there too on the foreground. So foreground, let's name that foreground and rim since this did some good stuff on the rim. Let me see. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna look at the other one. Yeah, there's a lot of detail on that rim. We could use that for the outside detail. Okay. So we'll turn them all on and we'll work on the foreground. What I'll do is I will take this one and I'll make sure I'm erasing this right here. So this part is what's going to be erased and this is going to show through because now we're going to pull up the foreground by exposing what's underneath this image by erasing the this area right here. Here we go. And you can pull some of the detail in with the shading of the brush. This is really cool because I've I really went a long way to try to pull this up 
with what I was doing with detail for black and white images. And it works great. I, I like it. Now the background, since it was good, I'll just go ahead and erase all the card and everything and only deal with the background. There we go. That's how I get a pure black and white image. Thanks. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Go ahead and change this over to threshold again to make this blend with the rest of the blacks. Go ahead and flatten the image. And then change this layer. Duplicate it up. Image adjustments, threshold one more time. Look at your car, it's fine. And that's just, that's that. See you next time. Bye.